Hi all, welcome to Amrita Yes Academy. We are here with our program Learn Seaside through PYQs with an another interesting topic, Syllogism. Every UPSC aspirant might have learned this particular topic for any other competitive exam like uh, SSC, bank exams or the UPSC Seaside paper itself. However, if we compare the questions from Syllogism for UPSC Seaside exam, as well and other exams. The questions for UPSC CSAT papers are very very simple compared to the question coming in other exams. The one speciality of this particular topic or questions from this particular topic is that this topic demands only an intelligent thinking instead of any uh, apply application of formulas etc. So one has to understand the basics of solving questions from syllogism, then one can solve every questions from this particular topic. The topic seems to be a bit complicated for some students, but if you learn the basics of the topic, every questions can be solved within one or two minutes. So before moving to the topic, let me remind you one thing, we have already uploaded more than 10 topics in our uh, YouTube channel. So please do watch that video. This is, uh, we are actually moving to the end of our session. So please do watch that videos first so that you will be able to understand the nature of UPSC CSAT paper and what topics you, you have to concentrate more. So that's a request from our side. Anyway, once again, welcome to the program, learn CSAT through PYQs. Before moving to questions, let me remind you one thing that what is the trend of question, number of questions coming for this topic. In the year 2014, there was only one question asked from this particular topic. Also 2015, there was only one topic. In the year 2016, there was no topic, there was no question from this particular topic. For 2017, uh, there was one question in 2019 there was one question no question was on 2018 in the year 2020 the number of questions increased from 1 to 2 <coughs> in the next year that is last year in the year 2021 the number of questions increased from 2 to 3 which means that the importance of this particular topic has been increasing year after year this year also, in the 2022 UPSC CSAT paper also, we expect that a two or three question can be asked from this particular topic. Three question means if you if you uh, clear that three questions, you will be able to get 7.5 marks. That's very crucial for clearing UPSC CSAT paper. So, for the last two years, UPSC has been in UPSC has increased the weightage of this particular topic that is syllogism. So it's a high time to deal with all the previous year questions and practice more number of questions so as to attempt all the questions which are about to ask in the coming UPSC CSAT paper. So this is a trend of uh, questions from the topic syllogism. Anyway, we are straight away moving to our previous year questions starting from the year 2014. This is the first question asked in the year 2014. The question is, Consider, consider the following statements and conclusions. The statements, first statement is, some eyes are ears. Second statement, some ears are lungs. Third statement, some lung, our lungs are hands. Okay. See, for solving questions from syllogism, we usually follow two types of approach or, or many types of approach. But the most easiest and universal approach is Venn diagram approach which means that it is it is it is a universal approach and it is easy to uh, learn and practice so in this session we are actually following the Venn diagram approach for solving the all the entire questions asked from 2014 to 2021 clear okay anyway the statements are some eyes are ears, some ears are lengths, all lengths are hands. And the conclusions are 
some hands are eyes, some hands are ears, some lengths are eyes, no hand is eye. Okay. So, first of all, let me draw the Venn diagram based on these three statements. Okay. First one, some eyes are ears. Okay. Some eyes, this is eyes. Some eyes means, okay, some eyes, these are some eyes. Some eyes are ears. Some eyes are ears. This is how to draw the Venn diagram. Next one. Some ears are lengths. Some ears are lengths. Some ears are lengths. All lengths are hands. All lengths are hands. All lengths are hands. Okay. So, we have done our Venn diagram. Some eyes are ears. Some eyes are ears. Some ears are lengths, some ears are lengths, all lengths are hands, all lengths are hands. Okay. Now, let us look the first conclusion. The first conclusion is some hands are eyes. Okay. What is some, ha some hands? This is some hands. Clear? Okay, this is some hands. Can this some hands is eyes? No. Because there is no direct connection in this basic diagram. There is no direct connection with the hands and eyes. So, we cannot say that some hands are eyes. Clear? So, there is no direct connection with the rest, with, uh, between hands and eyes based on this statement. So, we cannot conclude that some hands are eyes. So, this is not possible. So, first is incorrect. Clear? Okay. Second one. Some hands are ears. What are some hands? This is hands. All lungs are hands. This is some ear, some hands. Clear? Is this some hands or ears? Yes. This is some this is some ha, some hands and it is part of the ears. So some hands can be ears or some hands are ears is a possibility, is a chance, is a correct one. Clear? So this is correct. So second statement is uh, second conclusion is correct. Let's move to the third one. Some lungs are eyes. What are some lungs? Okay. Uh, this is also the case of some uh, the, uh, lungs. So, this is this can be treated as some lungs. Clear? Some lungs are eyes. Can the uh, eyes connected with the lungs in this basic diagram? No. The eyes and lungs are not connected. So, we cannot say that some lungs are eyes. So, this is also an incorrect conclusion. The last one is no hand is eye. See, Regarding the conclusion no, you have to understand a, uh, a, a mechanism or a, an idea that, see in this Venn diagram, all the diagrams are in a single figure which means that there is no no statement here, there is no no statement here. Since there is no no statement, all these figures are uh, connected in some way or another. There is no disconnected uh, what uh, statements. Disconnected in the sense if there is a question that, statement that uh, no hands are legs. No hands are legs. Then now this uh, four, four figures and this is detached. But in this particular case all the figures are connected in some way or another because eyes and ears are connected, ears and lengths are connected, lengths and hands are connected. So, there is no disconnection in this actual figure. But if there is a statement comes like no hands are legs, then there is a disconnection. So, what I have to express is that, what I have to express is that if in the basic diagram there is no disconnection, then the no, no statement, no conclusion will be definitely incorrect the no statement will be definitely incorrect. If there is no, uh, no conclusion or no, uh, no statement, then in the conclusion, the no statement, the no conclusion will be definitely incorrect. So, that is the idea. However, let me uh, prove it wrong. See, the conclusion is no hand is I. If a no statement comes, we should try to negate that statement. We should try to negate that, negate that statement. How can we negate this statement? Okay. Without changing the basic statement, I can negate this particular uh, what, uh, statement. 
let me show okay the idea is no hand is i see i can redraw the figure as eyes some eyes are ears some ears are what ears are lengths clear okay then what is possible uh, all lengths are hands all lengths are hands see did i violate the basic statements no i didn't violate the basic statements see what it says some eyes are ears some ears are lengths and all lengths are hands i didn't violate the basic statement but in this possible diagram it's a possibility in this possible diagram can we say that no hand is i no hand is i no because in this possible diagram some hands are eyes some hands hand is a larger diagram some hand is i so we can prove that no hand is i is a wrong statement or wrong conclusion so no hand is i is incorrect so what is actually correct only second statement is correct let us look at the uh, options a none follows b only conclusion 4 follows c only conclusion 2 follows d only conclusion 3 follows yes option c is the correct answer because only the conclusion second follows rest all conclusions are incorrect in some way or another way clear okay so no hand is i is an incorrect conclusion because we can prove that some hands are i so remind one thing whenever there is a no conclusion or no conclusion comes we should try to negate that statement clear okay so the answer for this question is option c we are moving to the next question consider the following statements followed by two conclusions statements are some men are great some men are wise conclusion one men are either great or wise conclusion two some men are neither great nor wise which one of the following is correct okay fine so let's first uh, take the statements and draw the diagram first the first one is some men are great then some men are wise okay some men are wise okay conclusion first men are either great or wise okay men are either great or wise which means that men are either uh, great or they are wise there is no a third case that is what this conclusion one implies men are either the men are great i uh, or they are wise if some men are not uh, great then they must be wise that is what the conclusion implies let me check see consider this face consider this face these are some men but these men are neither wise nor great which means that there is a possibility that a men not being wise as well as great so the first statement can is not correct it is incorrect men are either great or wise means they should be either great or the or they should be wise there is no a third possibility but there is a possibility that they can uh, what neither wise nor great okay let me check the second one conclusion to some men are neither great nor wise some men are neither great nor wise he can it be definitely uh, prove it correct okay let me check see let me draw a another possible diagram some men are great some men are great uh, some men are wise some men are wise okay. consider 
this area the area common to both uh, great and wise uh, relating to men in this area the men belongs to this area are both great and wise are both great and wise so what does the statement say is conclusion say some men are neither great nor wise some men are neither great nor wise can it be prove it incorrect yes it is possible to prove incorrect because for this area they are both what great as well as wise so that conclusion is also incorrect so the answer for this question is neither of the conclusions is valid neither of the conclusions is valid the first conclusion is incorrect second conclusion is incorrect both proved incorrect in two different ways without violating the basic statement that some men are great some men are wise some men are great some men are wise we are modified our venn diagram according to our need without violating the basic statements so that's a very crucial thing clear okay that's where our intelligence or logical reasoning plays in very very much okay so that's for the second question moving to third question examine the following statements all colors are pleasant some colors are pleasant no color is pleasant some colors are not pleasant given that the statement 4 is true what can be definitely concluded okay so the first one all colors are pleasant okay all colors are pleasant this is for sec 1 for 2 some colors are pleasant some colors are pleasant the third one no color is pleasant no color is pleasant the fourth one is some colors are not pleasant these are colors and some colors let me take this as some colors and they say some colors are not pleasant so they are not pleasant clear okay so these are the four statement that is given for us okay wait a second okay. see question is given that the statement 4 is true what can be definitely concluded what can be definitely concluded okay fine see they are say Uh, they are saying that the statement four is true. Statement four is true means some colors are not pleasant. Some colors are not pleasant. Okay, if this statement is true, then we have to find which of the other three statements can be said to be definitely true. Let us take the first one. All colors are pleasant. See, the fourth one says some colors are not pleasant. The fourth one says some colors. some colors these are some colors these some colors are not pleasant but the first statement says all colors are pleasant can it be possible no can it be definitely possible can, can it be say that it is definitely impossible yes in no way it is possible that all colors are pleasant because the four statement is true and it says some colors are not pleasant suppose there are 10 colors and two colors are not pleasant some colors are not pleasant means out of the total 10 flowers two flowers are not uh, sorry two colors are not pleasant two colors are not pleasant but the first statement says all colors are pleasant but actually two colors are not pleasant then we can when we cannot say that all colors are pleasant so it is definitely an incorrect one it is not possible it is an incorrect one definitely incorrect one 
the next one is some colors are pleasant some colors are pleasant see the four statement says some colors are not pleasant then can we say that the other the, the remaining portion the other colors can we say that the other colors are pleasant can we definitely say that some colors are pleasant or can we definitely say that some colors the other colors also not pleasant no we cannot definitely reach to a conclusion we cannot reach to a definite conclusion so we cannot say definitely say that some colors are pleasant so we cannot definitely say that some colors are pleasant okay the third one no color is pleasant no color is pleasant see the fourth one says some colors are not pleasant some colors are not pleasant we don't know the what the uh, what the relation or the what this uh, case of the other colors whether the remaining also not pleasant or whether the remaining are pleasant we definitely say anything so we cannot definitely say that no color is pleasant so so we cannot say that it is definitely true or definitely false here also we cannot say that it is definitely true or definitely false so now look at the option option a 1 and 2 are true so they say the first one and second one are true no the first one is definitely false second one we cannot only say that it is definitely true or definitely false so option a is incorrect option b three is true no color is pleasant can we say definitely say that no color is pleasant no clear okay so three is true it is not also possible two is false second statement is false some colors are pleasant is a false a uh, false case false statement can we say so we cannot say that some colors are pleasant is definitely false it can be false but it can be true also so we cannot be definitely say that some colors are pleasant is a false statement so it is not possible then one is false can we say that the first statement is definitely false yes we have already said that since the fourth statement says some colors are not pleasant then we cannot say that all colors are pleasant by any circumstances we can definitely say that all colors are pleasant clear so the force so the first statement is definitely false or definitely conclude we can definitely conclude that the first statement is false so the answer for this question is option d1 is false clear okay next question consider the following statements and conclusions the statements are some rats are cats some cats are dogs no dog is a cow conclusion no cow is a cat no dog is a rat some cats are rats which of the above conclusions is or are drawn from this statement okay let me draw the venn diagram first the first one is some rats are cats some rats are cats some cats are dogs some ra uh, sorry some cats are dogs no dog is cow no dog is a cow okay fine first conclusion no cow is a cat okay so uh, our one shortcut that if all the figures are in single venn diagram or mutually are connected then we can definitely say that the no statement is incorrect but the statement contain one no statement so they are not uh, all the venn diagrams are not connected so we cannot uh, say that no cow is a rat cat at the first instance we have to prove that so in case of no we have to neg we should try to negate that statement okay let's try to negate this statement no cow is a cat no cow is a cat can we negate this statement yes possible how let me redraw the diagram rat cat some ca uh, rats are cats some cats are what dogs then no dogs are cow okay no dogs are cow
if I draw cow like this and you, you see one thing, the dogs and cows are not connected. They are not, they are not connected to each other, which means that we can definitely say that no dog is a cow. But take the first conclusion, no cow is a cat. Can we say that no cow is a cat? No, some cats are cow or some cows are cat. So, the first statement is incorrect. So, we tried to negate this statement. There is or there are some cats which are cows. So, or there are some cows which are cats. So, we negated the first statement. Let us go with the second one. No dog is a rat. No dog is a rat. Okay. So, for that, we should try to negate that statement. So, that uh, for that, we should have to uh, draw any other possible diagrams. The first one is a rat, second one cats, then they say no dog is a rat, okay. See actually the, uh, the second one says, second statement says some cats are dogs. Some cats are dogs and then they say no dog is a cow, no dog is a cow. In this possible, we did not violate the basic statement, basic rule, clear? Okay. So, based on this possible diagram, can we definitely say that no dog is a rat? No. Or uh, let me take this case. See, this says some cats are dog, some cats are dog. Can we say that no dog is a rat? In this case, some dog is also a rat, clear? We, we did not violate the basic assumption, basic statements. In the basic statement, it says some rats are cats and some cats are dogs and no dog is a cow. In this possible diagram, it is possible to say that some dog can be rat. Hence, we cannot definitely say that no dog is a rat. So, we tried to negate that statement. Clear? Okay, third one. Some cats are rats. Some cats are rats. Is it possible? Yes, some cats in this basic diagram or in this case, in this possible diagram. Some cats means this area. This area is also belong to rats. So, some cats is, uh, are rats is a possibility, it is possible. So, third statement is correct. So, answer for this question is option C, only 3, 1 and 2 does not follow. Here it contains 1, here also contains 1, it contains 2. So, answer for this question is option C, 3 only. Clear? Okay. Moving to next question. Two statements are given followed by two conclusions. The statements are all numbers are divisible by 2. All numbers are divisible by three. Okay. Um, if a number, if a number is divisible by both two and three, then we can definitely say that the number is also divisible by six. How we can say that? That is the divisibility rule of six. If a number, take any number, uh, any multiple of six. For example, let let us take thirty. Three zero. So thirty is a multiple of six. If third, since 30 is, a, 30 is a multiple of 6 and it is it can be divisible, uh, it, is a, it is divisible of 2, 30 by 2 is 15. It is also divisible by 3, 30 by 3 is 10. So, if a number is divisible by 6, then we can definitely say that the number will be divisible by 2 and 3. What asked in the, what asked in the question is, the statement is all numbers are divisible by 2, all numbers are divisible by 3, then we can say that all the, the number will be a multiple of 6, the number is a multiple of what? Multiple of 6, clear? Conclusion 1, all numbers are divisible by 6, yes that is possible, that is the idea of the divisible, that is the divisibility rule of 6. If a number is divisible by 6, then it must be divisible by 2 and divisible by 3. So, the first statement, first conclusion is correct. Let us go with the second one. All numbers are divisible by 4. Can we say that 
all the numbers which are multiple of 6 is divisible by 4? No. Let's take the first number 6 itself. E60 is perfectly divisible by 4. No, it is not possible. So we cannot say that all numbers are divisible by 4. So the answer for this question is only conclusion 1 follows. The answer for this question is option A. Clear? Simple question. Moving to the next one. Consider the following statements and conclusions. Statements. All cats are dogs. All cats are black. Okay. Let me draw the Venn diagram. Let me draw it smaller. Okay, all cats, all cats are dogs, all cats are dogs, all cats are black. Okay, let me draw like this, all cats are black. Okay. It is a one way of drawing the diagram and another way I can also draw it as some cats, I'm sorry, all cats are, uh, what, all cats are dogs and all cats are black, okay, all cats are black, I can write in this way also, I did not violate the basic uh, statements. Conclusion 1, all dogs are black, all dogs are black, see all the dogs means this is a large diagram. Black means the second largest diagram. And it says all dogs are black. Is it correct? No. Because this is also belongs to dog. But it does not belong to black. So these are dogs. But they are not blacks. So we cannot say that all dogs are black. It is incorrect. I hope you got the idea. The larger diagram is dog. The, the next small diagram is. The next larger diagram is black. This area belongs to dogs, but it doesn't belong to black, which means that these dogs are not what blacks. So we cannot say that all dogs are black. Okay. Next one. Some dogs are not black. Some dogs are not black. See, in any possible way, some dogs means it can be some dogs. Some dogs means it can be the large one can be some dogs so can we say that some dogs are not black no by any means some dogs also belongs to what black so some dogs are not black cannot be possible is a cannot be possible means is not a, a right statement or right conclusion so some uh, so, uh, dogs are not black is not correct in uh, in both diagrams so, answer for this question is neither conclusion 1 nor conclusion 2 follows. Clear? Answer for this question is option C, neither 1 nor 2. Clear? Okay. Moving to next question. A statement followed by conclusion 1 and conclusion 2 is given below. You have to take the statement. Okay. Uh, leave the story. We know what actually the question is about to ask. There are three statements and two conclusions. Okay. Let, me re uh, let us read the statements only. Some cats are almiras, some almiras are chairs, some, all chairs are tables. Okay, some cats, some cats are almira, some almiras are chairs, some almiras are chairs, all chairs are tables. Okay. All chairs are tables. Conclusion 1. Certainly some almiras are tables. Certainly some almiras. Okay. Certainly some almiras are tables. These belongs to some almiras. Can we say that these some almiras belongs to table or are table? Yes, it is possible. Some almiras belongs to table or some almiras are table. It is possible. Conclusion 2. Some cats may not be chairs. Some cats... What is some cats? This is some cats. Some cats may not be chairs. This some cat doesn't belong to chair. So some cats may not be chair. It is also possible. 
so both conclusion 1 and 2 is valid or correct or so answer for this question is option c both conclusion 1 and conclusion 2 is correct clear okay moving to next question uh, similarly large large story leave that behind first statement some radios are mobiles second one all mobiles are computers the next some computers are watches conclusion one certainly some radios are watches conclusion two certainly some mobiles are watches okay statement one is some radios some radios are mobiles some radios are mobiles all mobiles are computers all mobiles are computers some computers are watches some computers are watches okay the first conclusion certainly some radios are watches certainly some radio certainly we can definitely say that can we definitely say that some radios are watches certainly this is belong to some radios clear do these some radios belong to watches no so we cannot certainly say that some radios are watches so this is not a correct one correct conclusion moving to next conclusion certainly some mobiles are watches certainly some mobiles okay this is also belong to some mobiles do this portion belong to watches no we have already said that portion doesn't belong to watches so we cannot definitely say that certainly some mobiles are watches so neither of this conclusion is correct so answer for this question is option d clear okay moving to next question i think this is the last question from upsc papers okay the last qu uh, question the qu these three there is three last question was asked in last year 2021 prelims okay first statement some greens are blues second statement some blues are blacks conclusion one some greens are blacks conclusion two no green is black conclusion three all greens are blacks conclusion four all blacks are greens okay the first one is some greens are blues some greens are blues some blues are blacks okay some blues are black the first conclusion some greens are blacks some greens means this portion do this portion directly related to black no in this basic uh, diagram some greens are blacks is not possible next no green is black see this the all these all these three figures or circles are connected in some way or another this is connected to this this is connected to this there is no separate detached figure so then we can without reading we can definitely say that no green is black it will be incorrect so we saved our time next one all greens are blacks can we say that all greens are black no from this basic diagram all greens are not black so this is also incorrect last one all blacks are green similarly in this base diagram we cannot say, we cannot say that even some blacks are green then we how we can say that all blacks are green so this is also not possible so neither one nor two nor three nor four is correct so answer for this question is option d clear okay in that way we end our csat questions but since this topic is bit complicated for some students let me uh, do three more questions so as to practice clear okay you have to continue the practice process so that you will be able to uh, what connect with the more more number of question practicing more number of questions will make you perfect how anyway let me take one uh, three questions more the first question is three statements are given followed by two conclusions the statements are all apples are bananas no banana is a mango some mangoes are orange okay all apples all apples are bananas no banana is mango no 
no banana is mango some mangoes are orange some mangoes are orange the first conclusion all oranges can never be bananas all oranges can never be bananas is it correct see in this diagram all orange oh sorry uh, some or mangoes are orange some mangoes are orange and the banana and mango is not connected in any way no banana is mango no banana is mango there is no direct connection with the banana and mango but there is some connection with the orange and mango then can we say that no orange can be bananas or all oranges can never be bananas is a correct one it is a correct one why because this orange and mango are uh, connected or some mangoes are orange this is belong to both of these but none of the mangoes are bananas that include this portion also then we can say that all the mangoes all oh, sorry all oranges can never be bananas it is a correct one so the first conclusion is correct moving with the second one some mangoes are apples is some mangoes are apple this is some mangoes is that apples no it is not apples so the first conclusion is correct the second conclusion is wrong let me repeat once again this is part of the mango as well as orange that is some mangoes are orange and no mango is banana clear this portion is common to mango and orange which means some mangoes are orange then how we can say that uh, all oranges can be banana so some man oranges can be banana it's a possibility but all oranges can never be ba can never be bananas it is a possible it is correct it can never be bananas so first eight conclusion is incorrect so first in conclusion is correct second conclusion is wrong so the answer for this question is option a only conclusion one follows clear okay moving to next question three statements are given followed by two conclusion statement some cats are dogs some dogs are lion no lion is tiger conclusion all cats being tiger is a possibility at least some dogs is tiger okay let me draw the diagram the first one some cats are dogs some cats are dogs some dogs are lion some dogs are lion no lion is tiger no lion is tiger okay first conclusion is all cats being tiger is a possibility is it possible that all cats being tiger let me check so let me draw this diagram in a different way some cats some cats are dogs some dogs are what lion and the lion and tiger are not connected in any way in that case keeping in that mind <coughs> we can redraw the diagram in a different way that is sorry. this is a uh, tiger see no lion is a tiger is it correct yes some cats are dogs some dogs are lion and what uh, no lion is tiger it is correct the tiger and lion are not connected so we didn't violate the basic statements or basic idea but in this case all cats being tiger is a possible this is all cats these are all cats and it is being tiger so all cats being tiger is a possibility yes it is possible sir clear okay next one at least some dogs is tiger at least some dogs some dogs means this is some dogs or this is some dogs 
but is these are related to tiger no see why i modified in the first case is that there is a possibility uh, case the question is asked about a possibility so then we have to check the multiple possibilities in the second statement there is no possibility case so we should not we not don't want to uh, go after the possibility case we we don't need to uh, redraw the diagram or the uh, uh, draw other possible diagrams as well so in the first case there is a possibility clause but that is absent in the second case that's why i redraw the figure in different ways so as to prove that all cats being tiger is a possibility and i made the statement correct by drawing a different figure without violating the basic statements clear okay so the first statement is correct second statement at least some dogs is tiger this is some dogs this is some dogs but it is not related to tiger so we can say that it is not correct so second statement it's incorrect so answer for this question is option a one only clear okay moving to next question i think this is the last question uh, for our topic the question reads consider the following statements and conclusions statements only graduates are clerks some graduates are officers some officers are lawyers conclusions no clerk is an officer all clerks being lawyers is a possibility all officers are graduates okay let me draw the venn diagram only graduates are clerks graduates c only graduates are clerks those who belong to graduates are only clerks no other persons okay so only graduates are clerks next some graduates are officers so some graduates are officers some officers are lawyers okay some officers here some officers are what lawyers okay this is a basic diagram conclusion one no clerk is an officer can we say that because all the figure is connected there is no, no there is no no statement so then we can definitely uh, disregard this conclusion no clerk is an officer it will be definitely incorrect see what if i draw the clerk like this then this some portion some clerk can be officers so i can easily negate this statement but that's not uh, needed we can uh, negate this statement in the first instance itself so no clerk is an officer is an incorrect one next all clerks being lawyers is a possibility all clerks being lawyers okay let me redraw the diagram graduates uh clerks some graduates are what officers some graduates are officers some officers are lawyers okay see i can redraw the diagram as like this here some officers are lawyers it is possible okay then what is uh, the uh, what we can say all clerks being lawyers is a possibility all these clerks being lawyers is a possibility is it possible yes it is possible clear so the second statement is correct let me now we have to move to the third one all officers are graduates there is no possibility clause here we have to simply analyze the picture all officers are graduates can we say that all officers are graduate no it's not correct so the third statement or third conclusion is not correct first statement first conclusion is also not correct only second is correct now let's check the options option a 1 2 3 no 1 uh, and 3 1 and 2 no option c is 2 only option d is 2 and 3 so answer for this question is option uh, option c only second statement only second conclusion is correct clear okay that's end of our session end of the upsc questions as well as three practice questions from this particular topic syllogism the topic is highly rewarding if you have gone through all the previous year questions and practice more number of questions from this particular topic anyway we are left with the two more sessions we will be back with the remaining topics and the english comprehension so that there will be a complete picture of the upsc previous year question papers for csat paper please do practice all the previous questions that we have done and uploaded in our channel 
you and practice more number of questions in your your mock test uh, how many more questions you are practicing that much you will be prepared for the exam and that is a success rate of the exam so do follow the routine do practice more questions we will be back with another video till then have a nice day thank you amrita ias academy